Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB. Set app is basically the Netflix for Mac applications. The concept seems simple enough. You pay a flat monthly fee and you get access to an ever growing library of fantastic Mac applications. There are everything from utilities to writing tools to video converters, screen recorders, graphics, photo editors, just a lot of stuff. So installing set app is really easy. You simply download the application and drag it into your applications folder, same as any other application would. Once you open it, you need to authenticate it with your username and password that you've either created online or within the app. Here's a really nice smooth demo, which is very reminiscent of MacPaw, which is actually some of the developers that are behind set app. You have this option in that lower left hand corner to show the set app folder in your dock, which is another option, but you have a variety of different ways of getting to set app. For instance, inside of finder in that left hand side, it's added a new option for you as well as in the menu bar. So if you want to search for the popular HTML5 animation app hype, you can do just that. Alternatively, down in your dock, we opted to have that set app folder. Open that up and here are all the applications that are housed inside of set app. So lots of different ones here, you can easily explore them and it is a little bit busy, but I will show you how to hide the ones you're not interested in. So we're gonna go back to Finder, we're gonna go back to our set app option there at the top of our left hand menu. Now it's almost like looking through the app store. So I'm gonna look at iFlix here, a fantastic application, one of my favorites, and it's kind of expensive, but I can open it up, I get a preview of the application, all the description down at the bottom, there are all these nice screenshots showing me more about the application, kind of like I'm going to go buy it, but instead of having to buy it, since I am paying for set app, I can get it for free. Well, other than the monthly fee, of course. But so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that or any other application I want. So Chronicle, another great bill man bill paying or bill management app. I'm gonna double click on that. Again, I've got a description, I've got screenshot, all that in here. But when I hit open, see this is the first time it'll pop up with all these things like opening it. It'll say, do you wanna enable iCloud, which is no longer limited to just app store apps. So even the ones that are here inside of said app will support iCloud. Also, any purchases made or any apps that are contained inside of set app will have no ads and no in-app purchases. And of course, any updates to those apps, you will get absolutely free. That is the real benefit here, not having to worry about paying for extra features, no pro versions, you simply get the app, the whole app, no ads, no reminders, all that is included, it's really, really nice. And there are even new apps added over time. For instance, if we look in my notifications, other than all these ones from iDownload blog, there is one letting me know that Forecast Bar has been added as the available app for set app. Again, all this nice preview information, if you're unfamiliar with Forecast Bar, it's actually really similar to Dark Sky on the iPhone, but it's here on your Mac. I can choose my forecast, go through this whole setup, basically like I bought the app outright, but it is included inside of set app. I was really impressed as I've been demoing set app, how seamlessly they build everything together. Even though these kind of applications are authenticated through set app, it makes it feel like it's just part of your native system. Of course, there are little things that are different. Like if I go into application, I don't see forecast bar anywhere, but obviously using spotlight search or the set up menu bar, the setup option here inside of, you know, finder itself, all of those will review reveal forecast bar. So there are some discrepancies that don't completely line up, but overall it's really smooth. Of course, I can see the two apps that I've already opened. So Chronicle and forecast bar, both of those no longer have that little download icon to the side. However, I can move them to trash so I can uninstall them like any other application. I also have this option here to hide the application. So if there's something that I'm not really particularly going to be using, I don't want to see it in my options here because it just makes things cluttered. I can do that. Then I go back, refresh my set app folder. Chronicle is back again, but now it has a download icon. So it just kind of repopulated that. Even though I moved it to the trash, I can re-download it again. And of course, for those hidden apps, I can reveal those and reset everything back to the default, showing those hidden applications. When I kind of refresh this folder once again, you'll notice that that icon or that app that I had removed, that ChronoSync Express, that once again is back. So really cool options here for kind of making this really feel seamless. So that is it. You can sign up for set app right now. They're in beta. When they launch, there'll be a 30 day free trial and then $9.99 a month after that. 
As more apps are added, the price will stay exactly the same. But right now there are 60 applications available and just a huge wide variety of stuff. You know, clean my Mac for cleaning your thing from MacPaw, Capto screen recording, Gemini getting rid of duplicates, typed for typing things, iThoughtbox, iStat menus, smart calculators, images polar there's there's so many things in here you really just have to get in and explore it for yourself even since making the video it's gone from 59 to 60 so they do keep adding applications all the time if you would like to try set app the netflix for mac applications there's a link down below in the description for you to get started otherwise give this video a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll see you next time